Hi children, good morning. My name is Ram Babu. I am a chemistry teacher. Today, no, we are going to learning one new one topic in chemistry, which is very very important for uh, for SSC exams. From this chapter, no, definitely one question. So every year, no, one question will come for four marks. No, such a very very important topics about we are going to learn today. Today, uh, we are discussing about chemical bonding, children. Then, what is the chemical bonding? Before going to this topic, no, you should know little bit information about about chemical bonding. Okay, na no? as of you know, all children that means no whole universe, whole universe is a made up of matter. Matter. Okay, na no? you know well, children, whole universe is a made up of matter. Okay, na no? whole universe is made up of matter. That matter is a made up of elements. You know well. Okay, na no? that matter is made up of elements. Okay, again, children, these elements no again made up of atoms. What those are atoms? Then what about atoms, children? Atom is made up of small particles. What particle those are? Small particles, electrons and protons and neutrons. Okay, you know well. Electrons and proton, neutrons. Okay, now simple form, children. You can write electron means e minus and proton means p and neutron. Okay, now children, whole universe is made up of matter. Matter is made up of elements. Element is made up of atom. But atom is made up of and small particles. What those are? Electrons and protons, neutrons. You know well, matter is made up of. I mean, matter is made up of elements. That matter is having a mass and space also, as well as elements. Elements also, children, having a mass, having a mass. Then, and atom, children, tiniest particles. Tiniest of particles. Then, what is the definition of element, children? The element is a pure substance, which we can't separate by using any physical methods and chemical methods. Okay, such type of material we'll call it like as a element. What is that, children? The pure substance. Element is a pure substance, which we can't further divide it into by using any physical and chemical methods. Understand? Now, no atom is what children definition. The atom is the smallest particle. Okay, na very tiniest particle. Again, which we can't separate it further. New substance. Okay, na such type of uh, particles will call children atom. Again, this atom no made up of children electron, protons, neutron. Atoms inside these three all there. What those are electrons and proton, neutron. Okay, what is the relation and our chemical bonding that these means? No, these elements will be there. No, these elements. No, and two or more elements combine it together. No, forming a new substance. Okay, na no? forming a new substance. Only elements. Okay, na no? two or more elements. Two or more elements combine together, forming a new substance. About those we are going to learn now. About those we are going to learn now. One by one, we will learn now. Okay, no? good children. Okay, first one children. Till now, no. Then why we need to? Okay, no. Why we need to combine elements to get stability? You know, well, children. In our periodic table, total one one eight elements are there. Yes, one one seven one one eight elements are there. Those are all elements, children. Does not exist independently. Does not exist individually. Okay, na will combine together only can exist in our atmosphere. You know well that's in earlier topics you learn in earlier classes you learn. Okay, na then and then existing nature not been in individually elements. Okay, na combined only can and can exist. The combining na simple childa chemical bonding. If you see definition, children, a chemical bond. No, what is the definition of chemical bond? One means no, the force of attraction between of two atoms will call chemical bonding. Okay, the force of attraction between of two atoms. 
the two elements will have say different different uh, different different elements or same elements whatever there inside atoms will be there no in between a force of electrons we'll call it like as a chemical bonding okay now then element phase no two or more elements together is forming new substance no now we are going to learn now what is that children formation of ionic bond totally children chemical bonding no divided in two type three types so. what those are and ionic bond covalent bond coordinative bond coordinative covalent bond but in your textbook no only given two bonds what those are children ionic bond and covalent bond did not give in coordinative covalent bond in a next classes in a higher class, higher studies in intermediate will be then no first we will learn about children ionic bond how many types of bond children ionic bond ionic bond first one ionic bond second one covalent bond in your textbook these two about only given children these two about we are going to learn now first one children ionic bond okay what is the ionic bond children ionic bond means no there only there ions the changing of ions okay now are changing of electrons are changing of radicals we'll call it like as a ionic bond in between children in between elements will be there no in between of element the changing of ions okay now changing of ions are changing of electrons okay now transfer will be there transfer such type of process will call children ionic bond okay now just one children what is the definition means no the changing of ions changing of ions is called as a ionic bond ion means what children one cation anion together will call it like as a ion the cation ion changing or transferring will call it like as a ionic bond okay now first one children formation of ionic bond formation of ionic bond children first one in chemical bonding you know first one which bond ionic bond in that ionic bond the first one we are learning children the formation of ionic bond ionic bond means what children what type of um, uh, elements will form participate here children which type of elements will participate here children ions ions means uh, and cation anion means called ions such type of elements only will participate here no which is example will comes in under children sodium chloride first example children sodium chloride okay na then nacl sodium chloride is a common chemical formula sodium chloride uh, okay, i mean nacl chemical formula sodium chloride no name is sodium chloride no and formula is a uh, nacl you know that children sodium atomic number 11 and chlorine atomic number 17 of course children earlier no we mentioned one point oh, uh, in our periodic table no how uh, elements are does not exist individually does not exist individually okay now is there, is there any stable elements are there yes there what those are yes eighth group elements in our periodic tables no divided group first no eight groups so include and sub groups 18 groups main groups eight eight groups are there no seven periods are there no in those an eighth group elements children and stable elements are there why we are calling to the major stable elements children in between of no in between of elements and the eight electrons are there the which will element will have eight electrons in between in there in valence shell such type of elements will call it children octant electronic configuration octant elements okay na what those are children elements um which which group eighth group element children helium neon okay na what those are we'll see now and um, helium neon argon and krypton and xenon radon these are the children eighth group elements okay these are the eighth group elements that means what children these uh, 
and five only children eighth group element so why means no in bit of course this one also eighth group element only but in between no in these elements no eight electrons will be in between no eight electrons will be in helium children in helium no only two electrons will be you know well helium atomic number how much two no then how electrons will be in this one that's why no we will call it them as like as a helium duplet electronic configuration only helium children we will call the duplet electronic configuration except these element remaining all elements will call it like as a octet electronic configuration elements there are many names are there you know well no what those are and rare group elements inert gases zero group elements eighth group elements okay na aeros also many names are there no such a many names are there due to the stability due to stability what stability children in in between no in there in there no eight electrons will be there in valence shell in their valence shell no eight electrons will be and every element in which elements will have eight electrons those elements we will call it like as stable elements or stable electronic configuration that's why no these eighth group elements no does not react with any other elements does not combine with the any other elements except these remaining all elements no combining with other elements can form new substance that is only we are learning in chemical bonding okay na? that is in the, those only there in ionic bond covalent bond coordinate covalent bond okay na? first one we started like as ionic bond transferring of ions or changing of ions okay na? cation and anion together we will call ion okay na? ionic bond okay first one children we have taken like as a formation of ionic bond example children sodium chloride sodium which group element children you know well children in periodic table no s block elements b block elements together no can form can give n number of substance n number of compounds you know well okay na? s block element p block elements now in sodium chloride which is s block element sodium is s block element chlorine is p block elements okay na? sodium s block element children electro positive elements means no and s block elements all elements no losing capacity will be there and chlorine children p block elements all p block elements no gain electrons from s block i mean metals okay na? p block elements means chlorine children non metal and sodium means children, s block elements metal okay now metals mean children electrons losing capacity will have non metal children electrons gaining capacity will have okay now how we will see now children you know well sodium atomic number 11 electronic configuration 1s2 and 2s2 and 2p6 and one take it count children 3s1 yes no you know how to write electronic configuration each of every element that sodium atomic number 11 no and 1s2 and 2s2 and 2p6 and 3s9 okay now by using Mollar diagram we will write no electronic configuration that Mollar diagram helps to write electronic configuration no? in this order you have to write no and take it count children 2 plus 2 to 4 4 plus 2 6 10 10 plus 1 is 11 11 is sodium atomic number come to the chlorine children okay this one is sodium next to chlorine chlorine children 1s2 and 2s2 and 2p6 and 3s2 next to 3p five children one check it children okay this one children two plus two to four four plus two six ten ten plus two to twelve twelve plus five seventeen okay now chlorine atomic number seventeen no you know children here no outermost valence shell children how many valence electrons are children when you are writing one element electronic configuration no whichever outermost shell will be there no we'll call it like as a valence shell our last one we will call it like as a valence shell. In their electrons, no valence electrons. Understand, children? Now, which is valence shell, children? 3s to 3 by 5 is valence shell. In those electrons, how many are the children? 5 plus to 7 are valence electron. Okay, now here, children, 3, 3. But here, children, and sodium, no? What is the valence shell, children? And 3s1. Then why you are not taking 2s to 2p6 here? Already 6 plus to 8 are there. That too. And 2s and 2p6. P orbital you know well. Filling capacity only 6 electron. Already it can fill. 
already it has filled it had filled also and 2 h2 also 2 electron filling capacity already it has also filled okay now then children here one how many electrons are there children one electrons are there children once imagine okay now sodium should get stability means no more seven electrons required more seven electrons required okay now chlorine children should get stability means no more one electrons required okay now once once listen children here no one loo here seven electrons gaining easy one losing easy once imagine here here only one electron having from sodium is outermost valence cell valence electron sodium individually it should get stability means no seven electrons required that means no at seven gaining easy now one losing easy now once imagine obviously no doubt at all one losing only easy for sodium uh, almost p block elements s block elements means metals metals losing capacity only will be there yes losing capacity only will be there like no one can lose here then come down here children here chlorine is p block elements non metals means non metals means what children then no and chlorine children valence is electrons how many came children seven came here children seven losing easy one gaining easy children once imagine the seven number is more no if we get one means that one number is single no if you get one means easily can stable no like children then no this one will come and will add here total how many children now eight what is our rule children when an elements between eight electrons combining are sharing are transferring if the became number eight means okay now we'll call it them like as a octant electronic configuration octant electronic configuration let's understand now then seven plus from chlorine one plus from sodium together seven plus to eight once imagine children after losing this seven after losing this 3s1 here 2s2 plus 2p6 8 and 2s2 plus 2p6 here also it is there here also it is there all together also it is there now can we call it them as a can we call it them as a i mean a, a compound what's happened here children chemical bond is forming a formation only no ionic bond formation only no one means what children sodium is plus will be there no and positive nature is there no one electrons losing no chlorine means negative nature no negative nature not all. from sodium no electron will come and chlorine no electron will take okay now this is the children formation of ionic bond okay now first example children we have taken like as a sodium molecule sodium chloride molecule okay now